are expecting Neil to come down on the inside. A bit like Rodders did there on Keith. Woo -hoo -hoo. Rodders sees a gap and he goes for it. And on meanwhile, Vince is past Jamo. He's alongside Jamo. Jamo's going back through on the inside. Vince is on the outside. The end of the corner straight into the little king here. Watch out, boys, side by side, 150 miles an hour. Into the break, he's having almost contact. As they go into the corner, Rodders trying to go around the outside. See one gets the inside and gets the job done, but Rodders was not giving that up without a fight. It's, it's five cars for second place. This is incredible into the hairpin. This is going to end in tears. But back to the leaders, side by side for Rodders in seat, down towards the last corner. Here we go. Group C from Brands Hatch, and this is race two. Hi everyone and welcome back to LPB Racing for race two here from Brands Hatch of the LPB Group C Championship on GT Sport. This should be another cracking race just like the first one and let's take you through the grid for this which is the results from the last race. So TY is on pole position then and he's now on fourth place weight so he's got an extra 40 kilos to carry now but uh, we'll have to see if that hinders him a little bit. Seat 1 is in second, he's weight free so watch out for him. Callum's third and he's on second place weight still so second place place weight for Callum. Then it's Neil Farmack in fourth. He's uh, on third place weight in this with bids to his teammate behind him on maximum ballast still because even from the fifth even from the fifth place that he got last time he's still in the lead of the championship. Only by one point though from Callum so it's very very close. Keith is sixth in the Nissan. He's weight free obviously everyone else is weight free now. Rodders in seventh. We've got Video in eighth in the Jaguar and then we've got the two Saubers at the back Will and, and Red Bull who were disqualified from race one because of the use in the medium tyres and not coming in uh, to change them immediately so uh, yeah that's part of the regulations so in the because in this championship it's soft or hard tyres only no medium tyres to be allowed to run so let's go to the start of the race then revs will be rising soon they'll not rip they'll not rise them too early because they want to try and save as much fuel as they can and off we go and ty gets a brilliant start Brilliant start for T.Y. as everyone else goes down towards the first corner. Seat one, not too bad. Got Binster on the inside of his teammates, side by side through Paddy Kill Bend. Now up towards Druids. Callum looking to get past seat one into second place. Callum gets up the inside of seat Oh, Neil hits seat one and helps him out, and Keith sort of helps Neil out, and the, uh, the, the Constantino effect happens, and then they all hit each other. But Keith's down to the back, and, ne and Neil's down to seventh, so everyone just getting a little bit caught up there. Will's up to sixth place in the Sauber challenging video, and we've got Binster to challenging seat one for third place we go on to the straight seat one and Binster together TY's running away already Callum's trying to chase after him but with the weight on I don't think that's going to gonna be happening but into Hawthorne we go and we've got oh, Red Bull and Neil very close together Neil Farmack obviously went back a bit after being getting hit and uh, Keith and uh, Rodders are further back as well so a few little battles starting to develop already in this race T.Y. Callum, C. Bidster, Bidster over the kerbs are quite a lot there, looking for the inside into Sterling's. No, can't do it. Video picks up a penalty through through uh, through Sheen there, through Sheen curve, the old Dingle Dell corner. Down to the last corner, Will trying to look at the inside, he's having a look at the inside, he's putting the car on the inside, but can't quite do it. Neil Farmack's now going to close up, down towards Paddy Kilben we go over the line, well, that's one lap done already. These cars are really fast, really, really fierce as well. Down through Paddy Kilben, it's still the same order, Will runs a bit wide there, but he's okay. Into Druids, Neil Farmack defending now from Red Bull, having to uh, get his elbows out a little bit, make sure that Sauber does not have a gap. Go down towards McLaren. And Bidster takes a tighter line on the inside. That man's able to take a tighter line in this race, even with the weight on. So Bidster looking like he's comfy around here. Seat one, the Belgian driver in third, just ahead of him there. Set, uh, Jaguar versus Mazda into Hawthorne. And the Jaguar has the upper hand on the fast corners because of Bidster's weight. The weight having a big effect in this race, as we saw in race one. T.Y. managing to run away with it, and everyone else getting caught up as Will goes way over the curbs at Westfield. The corner which claimed a couple of victims in race one. As we go over the curbs again, and Will, oh, Will hits the... Whoa, whoa, okay, he's went from grass to grass, and that is not what you want to do, Will, because that should have ended up a lot worse than it did, but good car control there from Will, but... Uh, just getting a bit carried away. Video has to get rid of his penalty before he crosses the line. That's the rule. He has to get rid of a penalty before he crosses the line. T.Y. in the lead, oh, why is it changing drivers, one minute guys, there we go, it's Callum in second, 
It's all oh, right over the grass there in third. So Bizda getting a bit carried away with himself there. That'll probably be a penalty. We'll have to see. Will's up the inside of Video. Will's challenging Video in the Jaguar. And Video in the Jaguar is trying to keep around the outside. But Will in the Sauber gets through. So Will up into fifth place. Looking a bit better in this one. Trying to redeem himself for the disqualification in race one. Neil Farmack on the back of Video now. Neil Farmack, remember, with third place Wayne. So he's a heavier one of these lot, but uh, still trying to catch up and do his best. Seat one and bids there now. I dare say seat one is actually starting to catch Callum here. Callum's second place weight is not helping him, and uh, bids has been pulled along by seat one's draft. So that could be a, another little battle that develops in the next couple of laps. But meanwhile, the best battle on track is the battle for fifth place. Will, video, and Neil as Will again tinkering with the grass as he goes through that section of uh, the track. Uh, Neil catching up to the back of video. Neil, go, Neil goes off. Neil goes wide. Makes a mistake. Goes off and bound down to eighth place. Rodders could cut. Rodders capitalise here. Down towards clear ways. Now Rodders not close. Not close enough. But uh, Neil down to eighth place. Then one mistake changes it all. And Will puts in his personal best of the race. One fourteen point six for Will, and he's now right on the back of Bidster. He's trying to catch up to Bidster and Seek, and he's doing so. Bidster's last lap of 115.2, 115.1 for Seek, and a 15.2 for Callum. Will's almost half a second quicker than these lot. So Will then really, really uh, pushing the boat out when it comes to his pace, and he's really doing a good job here in the Sauber. Uh, Red Bull's trying to do what he can, but he's ahead of Rodders, uh, he's ahead of uh, Neil and Rodders for now, no he's not, don't jinxed him, commentator's curse, he goes off on the exit of McLaren, think he had a big tank slapper there and Keith goes through, but Red Bull then down to 10th place with a big mistake, but the other Sauber is trying to make up places up the field and he's now right on the back of Bidster, down to... Uh, to Sheen Curve, over Sheen Curve we go, Seat one's now catching up to the back of Callum as well, so few little battles developing. Now to the corner, now it's level can see can Callum, he's catching up to him, he's not quite close enough to make a move yet. Bids has got his mirrors filled with that silver salver behind him. Onto the straight, Bidster now having to, having to defend from Will. Will looking left, right, and trying to find a way through. Bids is not defending it. He might as well let Will go and try and follow his pace. Sensible idea from Bids to there. So Will goes through on the inside, and Bids will now try and stick with Will to help him pull him up to the others. But as long as Will doesn't go wide like that, and Bids will be on the inside. But uh, oh, Will gets a bit carried away there on the exit. So, uh, but oh, we're all all ends well. Neil Farmack ahead of Rodders. Rodders trying to keep up with the back of these lot. Keith on his own in ninth after getting uh, sort of held up a bit at the start. But meanwhile, TY in the lead of the race. Keith's teammate TY in the lead of the race for the Nissan team. Won 14.9 last time round and a 13.8 on lap three. What a lap from TY. Seat one's now ahead of Callum. Seat one's past Callum for second place. So seat one is ahead of Callum. Callum's weight is not helping him and seat one's into second. Callum right behind him, he's still looking for a way back through though, he's right behind the Jaguar. Oh, he's gone onto the grass though in the Porsche, he's pushing too hard. The weight does not allow you to push very well on Grand Hatch, because the weight does not help you when it comes to the long, fast corners. It really doesn't help at all. And now he's got Will all over the back of him. Will, the man of the race so far, really pushing hard, making up places. He's really got the pace. As we look further back, Neil Farmack and Video close together, Neil getting on the back of Video now as oh, C1's been off and Will goes, Will goes through, Bids is up the inside as well, you cut away for one second and it all changes, C1 down to fifth place and now Will with a massive tank slapper out of Druids, he's really trying to get that power on, he's really driving that car aggressively now. So out of the corner then, it is now Callum in second place, Will in third, Bids it up to fourth and now it's C1 down to fifth. One mistake changes it all, we will get the replay on that later on at the half distance mark. But down the hill, Will is now catching Callum, you'll see the speed difference through Hawthorne. And look, yeah, closes right up, Callum goes wide, Will's right on the back of him now, into Westfield. No way through here now, Will, come on, you've got to be careful here, you've got to try and pick your moment to go through. Through into Sheen Curve, that's not the way to do it, and wow, Will toying with the grass again, and the grass again. Oh, he, 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 likes, he likes playing pinball with the grass as uh, he mows the lawn and uh, saves the Brands Arch maintenance workers from doing more work as we go 
into clearways and out of it across the start finish line it is Will in third place right on the back of Callum still lap time 16-1 for Callum 15-9 for Will including the mistake Will uh, sorry Bids is right behind uh, uh, Bids has got seat one right behind him seat one looking at the inside into Druids Bids to give him space but no way through there for seat one further right we've got Video Neil and Rodders Video is uh, sort of got a little train behind him and keeps closing up to these boys as well so video has not got the pace here I don't think as Will close up to the back of Callum at front and then see one on the back of Bids so I don't know where to look in this there's battles everywhere this is fantastic see one right behind Bids and out the corner we've got video and Neil close to each other as well but we'll see one looking at the inside of Bids are into Hawthorne Bids to give him space goes around the outside but no no way through for seat one there either into Hawthorne for Neil and Rodders, Neil and Rodders and video and uh, video. I mean the pressure put right on him by Neil Farmack, and they've, they've got the others catching up to him. Video defends and ahead. Uh, Tyre Spiel, it's okay. We're okay. Will's made a little error there, I think. Lost a bit of time to Callum. Into Sterling's video now. Got oh, made a mistake. Whoa! Back end kicks out like hell, and Neil Farmack goes through. Rodders can't take advantage, but Neil goes through into sixth place. Video now. Is he vulnerable or is he going to try and snap back? Meanwhile, back at Paddock Hill Bend, it's bids to ahead of seat one. Still, same order. Into Paddock Hill Bend for these two. Video looks up the inside, slides the car sideways. Oh my word. I don't know why look in this race. It's like a sprint race. Do these guys know it's an endurance? It's like it's a, it's like it's a 10 lap sprint. This is incredible. But uh, Callum has pulled a little gap on Will. Will's made a mistake and he's now back in the hands of bids to and seat one. <coughs> down the straight down towards Hawthorne and, uh, down to the bottom of the hill Will is better around the the fast corners there as well as uh, Bidster gets seat right behind him meanwhile Neil Rodders and seat we've got uh, Rodders and video sorry Rodders has passed video now video's gone to the back of the train Keith trying to catch up desperately in the Nissan so it's a four car battle at each end Oh, Will's lost it on the curb. What a recovery from Will. That was 45 degree angle and reactions of a saint there to get that car back. He runs wide out of clearways now and he's now deciding to go for the pits. His tyres have done. He, uh, and Callum's in as well. Callum's into the pits as well. So two cars in already. Bidster and seat one go round. So seat one goes round. So it all got a bit hectic there. And Neil, Neil's in and Will's in. Uh, sorry, that's Neil and Will there. As Will comes out right behind. Rodders and Video are battling together as well. Callum's out in fourth. Callum's come out ahead. And Video, ah, Video goes to the inside and Rodders hits, it, hits him wide. And, and Will goes through. Video then sportsmanly waits for him. But then Rodders comes through and hits Will off the track. Oh, controversy after controversy here at Brands Hatch. And that'll have to be looked at in a replay. But uh, yeah, they're all happening here. Red Bull's into the pits as well. There's that much happening, I can't keep up. Oh, Rodders has lost it altogether. Out of the corner, he's lost it, and everyone else goes through, and he's gone back down to ninth now, so that's ruined Rodders' race for now. We'll have to see if we can fight back later on. So, Bid's doing seat one. I would imagine they'll try and pit this time to try and counteract what the other guys have just done. We'll have to see, but um, TY, I don't think TY's got any intention of pitting, because if we look at his fuel compared to everyone else, and like he did in race one, he's running away with it. Seat one and bids, will they pit this time? No, they're gonna go round, they're not bothered, they're gonna go around. Callum fresh out the pits, just tires, no fuel across the line. Not lost much time there, like I said, with the warping of the pits, it uh, doesn't get, doesn't make you lose too much time. Keith in fifth, we've got video there in, in, well, he's on my hands weight now, she's pitting, so. He's uh, pitting for tyres and a little bit of fuel probably as Will and Neil go round and Neil goes up the inside. Will, very, very wide. It's almost like he's leaving the door wide open with a massive invitation. But uh, Will slides it out the corner down to Graham Hill Bendigo. So T.Y. in the lead and not pitted. Seat one, second place, not pitted yet. Bids to third place, not pitted yet. Tyres are worse on the Mazda because of the weight. Helms pitted and he's on fresh tyres. He's uh, 40 kilos lighter than Bidster. He goes straight up the inside. Massive run out the corner, but Bidster hangs on round the outside. You're not going to pass me that easy, Bidster says. But Callum says, yes, I am. I've gone straight through. And it, through Sheen Curve we go. Callum making the most of these fresh tyres. So 
Anderson will bits to try and hang on to Callum's pace, so we have to pit, we'll have to see in a moment. Keep in fifth, then we've got Will in sixth, all over the grass, sliding sideways, and again, recovers the car. Will's getting quite good at recovering the car, but he needs to learn not to put himself in that situation to begin with. As Bids is in, Bids is into the pitch, so new tyres and, and uh, probably a little bit of fuel for Bids. Callum goes through in third, seat one still in second. As Will, Will Bids to rejoin, he's rejoining the track now. Out of the pits he goes, and he's just behind his teammate Neil Farmack. So Neil Farmack pitted earlier, and uh, he's just come out behind his teammate. So Bids has lost time there with staying out on the on the track. He should have really pitted when the others did, or like the lap after immediately because seat one's going to lose time here as well but again it could come back to him later on in the race because he could um they might be able to do one last pit stop or they might be able to uh, they might be thinking later on in the race for a different strategy so again the race could come back to him later on so we'll have to see how that develops it's not here seat one second place but callum with the pit stops being as quick as they are now the uh is caught right back up to the back of seat one so uh the unrealistic pit time again, making Callum catch up to seat one. Nothing against Callum, but the pit stops are stupid on this game. Just, look, just walk you to your pit box and watch TY here. He'll put no fuel and then it'll walk him straight to the pit exit. Actually, not realistic at all. Comes out of the pits and he's going to be just ahead of seat one and Callum. Seat one into the first corner. And Callum right behind him now, fresh tyres, seat one defence, he's not going to try and let him through as oh, Doesn't leave any room on the grass, but Callum's not phased by this and goes right around the outside of him. Gets the inside for Graham Hill Bend and goes straight through. Callum ruthless in his attack on seat one and seat one ruthless in the, in the defence. Which resulted in Callum having to do what he did. So Callum then threw into second place. And Will and Neil are side by side out of Druids. And side down the hill, Will with Neil right behind him, Neil in full defence mode and fishtailing the car out the corner. Bids is right on the back of these two as well. Up through McLaren onto the, onto the straight, down the hill towards Hawthorne. And into Hawthorne. And there, we're, oh, Neil a bit wide there, that could open the door for his teammate, but Bids is not gonna, Challenge his teammate like that, really, if you can if you can avoid it. Will 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 and Neil on the oldest set of tyres, Bids on the freshest set of tyres, but again, with Bids's weight, he'll not be able to get uh, do much about it. As seat one's still staying out. Oh no, he's not. He's in the pits. Seat one's finally in the pits from third from second place from third place. Sorry, he's straight out. And he's not lost much time there, he's not put any fuel in either, and he rejoins in third. So seat one able to keep up better pace then on the worn tyres, and he comes out in third. And that could help him towards the end now, because his stint might not have to be as long. So Will then, making a little error there, just uh, Will's trying that hard, he's making little errors here and there, but he's okay, he's still in fourth place for now. Neil and Bids still together in the two Mazdas. Keeps up to seventh, he's after his pit stops, he's uh, ahead of video, Rodders is further back after the spin that he had earlier. And then we've got Red Bull in tenth, he's still trying to do what he can to catch up, but he's uh, he's got well, he's put a lot of fuel in that car, so again that could come back to hurt him, or it could help him later on in the race, but uh, he's put a lot of fuel in it, and the thing is because he's made the car heavy, he's going to be quite off the pace. He'd have been better off lightening the whole car, and then just putting little bits of fuel in at each pit stop, which probably probably would have been the faster way of doing it, but... Uh, Unfortunately, he's not done that as bids to the end right behind Neil Farmack now. As Will goes off again, visiting the gravel. Just not consistent, Will. He's got the pace, but he's just not consistent here. He's, he's consistent in making mistakes, but that's not the way that round that you want to do it. Into clearways, bids to right behind Neil Farmack now. Will he challenge his teammate into Paddock Hill Bend or will he stay put? Neil goes on the grass, Neil's going very wide unless he's trying to let bids go, go here, but no, he's not. He's just running wide a little bit there as he goes into uh, Paddock Hill Bend and down towards Druids. Darting into the corner, so it looks like they're having a little battle for position here, the two Mazdas. It looks like they're not afraid to battle, there's no team orders in that team, they're quite free to run together as Bids gets right close behind Neil Farmer then and can't go through. We've got a car running wide further back at Druids and video goes wide, so he's, uh, he's not lost a position but he's just gone very wide there. As Neil and Bids are still together, the two Mazdas. Down towards Hawthorne, will Bids go for the move? He's right, took right behind his teammate here. Unless he's willing to just stay behind and try and help him along. But oh, Neil goes wide onto the grass. Bids now goes through. 
and takes position, so the pressure gets to Neil Farmack and his teammate goes through there. So it was a battle for position and uh, Neil lost uh, concentration, made a mistake and goes down to sixth place. So now let's see if Bids can pull them both up to, to Will. Bids on slightly fresher tyres. Yes, he's on more weight, but he's got a little bit better fuel and better tyres. So theoretically it should be the faster car because Neil's got weight on as well. So there's actually only eight kilo difference as Neil comes into the pit. So he's had enough of these tyres. He's going to pit and try and see what he can do now. So Neil pits, pressure a bit of time, a uh, little bit of fuel going in. So fuel stop for Neil Farmack, tiny bit of fuel at each stop will help him get to the end and that's the way to do it. Comes out in 8th place behind Video in the Jaguar, keeps down up to 6th. Meanwhile up front, TY absolutely dominant in his performance so far, that 15 of 31, the gap to the car, well Callum's actually on a very good pace here. So. 15-6 for Callum, 14-4. I know there's a bit, oh, there's a bit of a big difference there, but uh, Ty must. Uh, Ty's recently just pitted, that's why. So he's only just pitted in the last couple laps. That's why Callum's closed up. But uh, Callum doing what he can to try and catch up to Ty here. Seat one in third. Then we've got Will and Bidster now. Bidster's caught up right to the back of, right to the back of Will. So Bidster did have the better pace in the Mazda, and. Neil goes in for fresh. Neil went in for the fresh tyres and, and they left Bidster to try and go and attack Will. So Bidster's now right on the back of Will, and is Will going for the pits? He's defending the inside. Is that a sign he's going for the pit lane? Yes, he is. Will going to the pits in the in the Sauber. Then in, in he goes, and Bidster takes fourth place. And now Bidster will put in some fast laps here probably to try and see what he can do about gapping him. But Will doesn't put any fuel in. So different strategy for Will. He's not putting fuel in this time, but he'll probably have to next time. Comes out in fifth place, so he's not lost much time. So the pressure's on Bidston now, because Nick Will's on the same fuel as him and fresh tyres. Keith in sixth. Neil in seventh. So we'll just now get the uh, first half of the race replays in for you while we've got a little break in proceedings. Here's a look at the replays of the first half. Okay, here's the first of the replays then on board with Keefe. So we're going down towards Paddock Hill Bend. Or should I say, up towards Paddock Hill Bend. And then uh, Bidster gets alongside his teammate and goes through on the inside. We go down to this corner here. Watch here as we break. Neil breaks quite early. Keefe isn't ready for it. Hits Neil. Then Rodders ends up hitting Keefe. And then uh, Keefe's there trying to, get, trying to get a gear. Trying to find a gear that works. There we are. There's one in there somewhere. Keefe stirs it around and finds one. Okay, here's a look at Red Bull's incident on lap four then, so going around McLaren, he goes around and see here, he gets on the grass, puts the power on and rope, tanks that bit into the wall, bang, hits the wall, and then has to recover from there, and then Keith comes out the corner as he rejoins and just avoids Red Bull as he goes back on track. Here's something we missed earlier on lap five, video goes out of Graham Ben, hits the kerb on the power, bang, straight into the Armco barrier, and then has to rejoin as Neil comes right on behind him, and that sets up quite a neat, a neat battle between all them. Okay, here's a replay of what happened to seat one, and on lap five, Brawl needs to change up front, so going into Paddock Hill Bend on lap, uh, on lap six, sorry. He runs wide into the gravel, just runs wide, and then, oh, Will has the tank slapper of all tank slappers there, and then, and then he loses places and bids to get something inside as well, and seat goes from second to fifth. Okay, here's a replay of how Rodders ended up passing video then. It was on lap eight, so video runs wide out of Graham Hill. Ben Rodders gets a very good run on the inside into, into McLaren and then just keeps the, the run on the inside. Video tries to cut back on the outside, and then, but then out the corner just hits the grass a little bit and Rodders takes seventh. Okay, now here's the replay on board with Bidstock on lap eight to watch Will's most spectacular save in this race so far as he slides into the corner and then gets on the curb and slides again, almost 45 degrees angle, and that leaves Bidster open to attack. Okay, here's a replay of something else. We've just watched Will's uh, incredible save, and now we're looking here on board with seat one. So Will slows down the left to try and go in the pitch to follow Callum. Seat one gets a good run, but again goes up on the inside of Bidster and then bang, bang, hits him off the track. So not good there from seat one. I know he was trying to probably avoid the incident, but uh, yeah, uh, but then they, they do continue uh, as they are. So we'll have to see if any action is taken after the race on that. And here's a second look on that now from the outside cameras. So we switch to the variable cameras to have a look at this. So see here, Will goes wide. Bids and seat go through on the inside, but seat then ends up going to the inside to try and pass Bids on the grass and ends up knocking him way off track towards the wall. And then, but then they both end up continuing, but seat one is in front. 
And now here's another replay on the end of lap eight. This is where it all happened all at once as uh, Rod is then comes through with the video going through as well. But Will's just come out of the pits there. So watch him go up here. We go up the hill and video goes at the inside, just makes a little bit error on the brakes and uh, hits him. So then he goes wide to let him go through. Will's gone through on the inside. Rod then gets a good run down the hill but then hits Will off track. Uh, onto the grass and uh, yeah a bit clumsy there from Rodders I know there was a lot going on but a bit clumsy there video honourably waits for those others to go through but Rodders there a bit of a push to pass really and he's running wide now he's on the grass and he's lost it we'll have another little replay on how that happened initially but uh, Rodders goes off and then um, they end up getting the places back ok here's a look at the end of that then so Rodders comes uh, around Graham Hill Bend he's already just hit Will off the track there and then we go down to the next goal. He's on the grass there before he even breaks. That's set up to fail before he even begins. And his run runs wide, it goes on the grass, and round she goes. And just avoids Keith and goes through the middle of both of them. Then they all, Will gets his place back, but Rodders is now down to nine. Here's a look back at something we missed on lap 15. So video comes through with Druids, slides his way through. And then on the exit of the corner, gets on the curb, puts the power on, and then loses it and then hits the wall on the inside of the track. And then ends up recovering and then Rodders comes up to him, leaves Rodders plenty of room and they go side by side up towards the next corner but the video has to give up the position. And now back to the race. And as we come back from that now it is still Neil Farmack chasing Keith. we've got Rodders and video together. Callum, oh Callum's on the grass pushing hard to try and catch T.Y. I think Callum's going to have to give in here and maybe pit for, pit for tyres because uh, he's, not, he's not really got any, any, any grip anymore so we might see Callum Pitt here, he's slowing down a bit more yes he's in the pits so Callum comes into the pits then and see how it warps him straight to his box, I hate that, I hate that, I really do hate that, it's stupid what's wrong with making the cars just drive through the pit lane, not hard back to his mouth but uh, Callum comes out in third place behind seat one so seat one then hops ahead of Callum so the strategy working for now, but C1's got a much uh, less fuel than Callum here. I know Callum didn't put much fuel in, but it's only about a quarter of a tank per stint here, so we'll have to put fuel in next time. So uh, he's right behind him, though, he's pushing hard. Further back, Keith and Neil together. Keith now under pressure from Neil Farmack. Two cars together, and looks like Keith's got less fuel than Neil, but uh, he's still holding on to position. Out the corner, Neil Farmack uses all the curb, a bit more track than Keith. Looking a bit more comfy on, his, on, the, on these set of tyres. As we go up the hill, out, out of McLaren, on to the straight, down the hill towards Hawthorne. Keith is weight free, Neil Farmack's got 80 kilos on. Neil Farmack on slightly fresher rubber. We go out down through the two corners at the bottom, it's Westfield now down towards Sheen Curve, or formerly known as Dingle Dell. Very, very hard corner brake, slow the car down, get in over the curb, it bounces you around and then you've got to try and get out of the corner. As we've got a car in the pits, who's that? Who's the car in the pits? We just had a car come out of the pits there. Out of Red Bull. He's just been lapped by Callum and Seek who are still battling out. Callum and Seek still battling out there for the second and third. Red Bull's been lapped now. So Red Bull back down the order. Has he put fuel in Red Bull? Oh, Red Bull's on medium tyres again. He's not learned his lesson. He's on medium tyres and he's gone off the track. He watches his bits to go through, but he's not learned his lesson. Bit Red Bull puts medium tyres back on and he's now... I don't know what he's doing there, but he's got to try and get the car sorted out somehow. He's going to get lapped by his teammate here. He's not pulling out the way. Oh, he's pulling out the way just, but uh, Red Bull's on medium tyres and if he continues doing that, he'll be disqualified again. So Red Bull in 10th, he needs to change tyres this time round because he just come out of the pits on those tyres and he needs to change. Callum then on the inside of seat one, just really harassing the back of the Jaguar now. Out of the out of Sterling's down towards Clearway, he's all, to, all close together and speaking of all close together, it's Will, Neil, Keith and with Red Bull in the middle and Rodders starting to close up as well. We'll have to see if Red Bull pits this time, he's getting out of the way. Is Red Bull going to pit? He's getting out of the way of everyone there. And he needs to pit to get rid of those tyres, otherwise he will be disqualified from the race again. And he's going round! So, Red Bull then, he's not learned his lesson, he's doing more laps on these medium tyres. 
and he'll probably end up being disqualified from the race again. So I don't know why he's suddenly got thinking he can do that when he's all season done soft and soft and hard tyres, but uh, no, not learning his lesson there, Red Bull. As meanwhile, Callum is now in front of seat one. Callum is in front of seat, but seat is not leaving him alone here. Both cars on sort of the same rough tyre wear. Seat one a little bit worse for wear, but a lighter on fuel. Well, Callum is the man with the pace at the moment as we go through Sheen. Out of Sheen and then down towards Stirlings. Into the cambered corner, the bank corner, and then out of it towards Clearway. Seat one kicking up the dust. But Bidster in fourth. He's got, look at, he's got very old tyres on that car. He's in the 16s, 17s now on that time, so it might be time for Bidster to pit here. Or he might be trying to go a bit longer and then uh, try to get the car to the end. But Will and Neil might be closing up here. Bidster's in. He's into the pits early, so he's coming early. Probably put some fuel in and this one. So he's coming to the pits. Let's see where he rejoins here. But still, Callum and Seat close together. But let's watch as the cars come over the line. Where's Bid still putting fuel in? There goes Keith. Bid's is finally coming out of the pits now. And he's going to be not far off Rodden. Oh, that, there goes Red Bull. Who's still on the medium tyre. So now he will be an official disqualification for Red Bull from the race for, choosing, for using the medium tyres again when he shouldn't do. Rules are there for all, for all to read on the Facebook page, and I do I do remind people on the race nights as well, soft and hard tyres only. And unfortunately, uh, some people didn't listen, and uh, well, will learn his lesson. He he's on, he's on soft he's been on soft and hard tyres, but uh, unfortunately, his teammate not quite getting the message. For the back, brothers trying to catch up to the back of Keith now. So Keith then looking like he's in the hands of Rodders here, both on similar tyre wear, similar fuel situation as well. Neil Farmack's got a bit more fuel in than these two, so possibly a quicker stop for Neil next time, but Keith, under pressure from Rodders, almost wide there at the corner. Into Sterlings and out of the Sterlings. Keith gets a very good run out of there though, so uh, we're relaxing one corner, he gains in another. So lap 20 of 31 here. Approaching 10 laps left in this race. Well, it's 21 now. As Neil Farmack's in, Neil Farmack's in the pits now. So Neil Farmack in with the uh, approaching 10 laps to go. Fuel goes in. A little bit of fuel. Where's he going to come out? He's going to come out behind Red Bull and Bidster. So he comes out behind his teammate and Red Bull. So remember, Red Bull's been lapped. They're still on the medium tyres. As yep, Neil Farmack comes out the pits. Half a tank. So that is the, that is the, probably not enough fuel to get to the end of the race now, so it's time to push hard for Neil, and they could possibly do a quick tyre stop near the end of the race if he wants to, so options available for Neil Farmack. As Bids has got the same fuel roughly as his teammate now, so both Mazdas look like they're set to the end, just maybe some different tyres maybe towards the end, because the tyres will probably go after about seven or eight laps, but Rodders then on the back of Keith, still trying to find his way through here. No, not finding one, but he's right up on the kerb, trying to do his best to try and put the pressure on Keith, but the, look, Keith's not having any of it. Out of Sheen, into Sterlings. And out of it, both cars, very nice lines through there. Meanwhile, Callum and Seat 1 are still together, seven, in, and they're still running in 14s, even though they're battling each other. Seat 1, though, desperately low on fuel. Callum not getting too far off that either, so pit stops will be quite similar. Callum's might be a tad quicker when it comes to the fuel. And that could mean everything. Keith is still ahead of Rodders, he's still holding him off. Keith and Rodders then, Keith's got a bit less fuel uh, than Rodders, so again, Keith possibly a slightly longer stop to get the fuel that he needs to go to the end of the race when he pits next time. So, drama still developing in this race as it goes on. And C1 and Callum are providing most of it, because Callum is still trying to look for ways past C1 and put the pressure on, but C1 is not having any of it. The Jaguar driver with nerves of steel with Callum behind him into Sterlings and the, and the Porsche gets a very good run out of there but the Jaguar gets good pace down the straight TY's in the pitch from the lead actually they're not far off TY here because they're doing 14s and TY's going to come out the pitch ahead of him yes but if I were TY I'd be slightly concerned because even with on, on the worn tyres Seek and Callum are really really pushing hard here and uh, able to do good lap time still but, see, but TY now at the pitch and he should be Home free, bit less fuel in for TY though, but less feels as though he can save the fuel towards the end. Because he knows that Seek can come and got the pit and put fuel in probably. 
Oh, we've, got, we've got an off at Clearways. It's. Uh, oh no, it's right. It's Rodders coming into the pitch. I thought we had an off, but it's Rodders coming into the pitch then from Clearways. Rodders in. Fuel goes in. So now I have to watch what Keith does. There's video. Where's Rodders going to come out? Uh, video goes through. Rodders Crown comes out behind video then. So Rodders, oh, he's put quite a lot of fuel in there. So he's, yeah, we'll probably overfilled it slightly, but still, I'd rather be safe than sorry on fuel, but at least he's not put a full tank in like, like the Red Bull did. Uh, speaking of Red Bull, he's off the track, still on the medium tyres, but really it's irrelevant because he's disqualified from the race anyway. So through Sterling's seat one and Callum. Through down towards Clearway. It's been a good race this so far. There's been battles of plenty in this one. And strategy of plenty as well. Seat one comes in. Callum goes round. That's the that's the uh, the news of the race so far. Callum's not followed him in. Seat one pitch with three litres of fuel left. Callum feels like he can put a couple of fast laps in now, probably. Before he's pitched up. Seat one's having to put quite a bit of fuel in here to get to the end. Here we go. And he comes out of the pits and he's put, yeah, that'll be plenty to get to the end, just about a third of a tank, that's plenty to get to the end of the race. So seat one now, he's out of the pits and he will now be pushing like, like, like hell for leather. Will needs to pit towards the end as well, because the fuel bids to through, Neil through. Keith's in, where's Rodders? There's Rodders. Watch the fuel, Keith, watch the fuel. Don't want to put too much in. Where's Rodders? He's coming through now, where's Keith? Still putting fuel in. Ah, oh, he's put way too much in. He's done, he's done what Rodders did. He's put about the same amount of fuel in, but because he had to put more fuel in anyway, because he had less in his tank before it came in, that's that's the difference in the gap. And Keith comes out behind Rodders there. If I were, if I were Keith there, I'd have watched for Rodders coming through and cut the fuel off and just thought, right, sod it, let's go. But uh, Rodders is now ahead of Video, who probably just made a little mistake there, and he's on older tyres, and he'll probably need to pit as well. So, order of the race then is T.Y. in the lead on lap 25, and he's just at a 1.13.1 out of the pits. What a lap for T.Y. on his first flying lap. He means business here. 1.13.1 for T.Y. That is qualifying pace. Callum's into the pits now. Where's Seek? There he is. So now Callum's going to try and get out of the pits. He's, he's, that's it. That's enough fuel, he says. And he wants to get out in front of him. Builds up the speed. And the thing is, we're pitting later. You don't have to put as much fuel in. And Callum then gets out ahead of seat one. But seat one's got the momentum. But he's not close enough. Callum then uh, takes the second place. So second place for Callum then. And he's, got, he's holding on to it. And now it's going to be a battle on pure pace to see who can uh, keep hold of second place. Will's in fourth, but he's going to need to pit because that fuel gauge does not look good. Binster behind. He looks like he's set to the end. So is Neil Farmack, possibly a quick tyre stop for them maybe later on. Rod is in it in 7th, ahead of Keith in 8th. Video's pitted from 9th. He needed to pit because of fuel level. And here he comes, and then Red Bull's coming round. But again, remember, he's disqualified from the race, so it's Video on his own in 9th. So Callum and Seat then, let's watch the, we'll have to watch the lap times as they go around next time. But Seat 1 looking like he's still keeping the gap to Callum. He is mean in, biz mean in business here, Seat 1. He's already got bedded in, bedded, the, bedded in on those tyres. And he's pushing hard now. T.Y. He's done a 14.8 last time around, so he burned his tyres up doing that 1.13. So he's got the fastest stop of the race, the extra point. He's done what he, what he needed to do here. Across the line for Callum there. And down the hill goes Callum. Through Paddock Hill Bend, seat one trying to catch up. So this uh, 1.14.1 was Seek's at fast out lap. So we'll have to see what Callum's going to do this time. Will's in from fourth place. In fuel, needs some fuel to get to the end. Keith will go through there. Yeah, no, that's not Keith, it's Rodders, sorry. Will comes out of the pits here. He's going to come out in between Rodders and Keith there. And that, is, that should be enough fuel to get to the end easily. And Will then comes out in seventh place with Keith in eighth. Keith and Rodders put way too much fuel in there. They could have been a bit further up where they were, but they've just overfueled the cars. So previous lap times then. Oh, T.Y.'s coming up to the line now. There's we've got Red Bull in the pits, I think, further back. So T.Y. 114.4. Let's watch Callum and Seat this time round to see what the lap time is going to be for these two, because these two are still running close on track for second place. This battle is well and truly on out of the corner and both the same gap roughly lap times across the line then Callum does a 
114.2 and it's a 113.8 for C1, C1 faster than Callum, possibly starting to get a little bit of a draft from the Porsche now, so it is C1 who's the, the faster car on track than Callum, so that, that battle should theoretically close up as Bidzda comes into the pits, oh, I don't think that's for fuel, I think that's a quick tyre stop, tiny bit of fuel goes in just to make sure it can get to the end. Bids comes out in sixth place behind Rodders. So Rodders has gone up to fifth then. But can Bids do with fresh tyres now and a bit less fuel than Rodders catch up to him? Will Neil Farmack do the same thing? Because the Mazdas, remember, pitted quite early. It looks like they were going for a two stop race. Because they pitted roughly around lap 11 and lap uh, 21, 22. So will they go? Will they be on these tyres a bit now? So will they pit? Again, Neil Farmack looks like he might have to pit for a quick splash and dash. Possibly worth doing a tyre change as well and seeing how close he can come out to the back of Bidster because Bids might be able to catch Rodders here. It's T.Y. in the lead. Callum is a good, has a good 20 second gap, probably more. Callum there now across the line. Seat one right behind him now. Here we go, across the line, lap times this time. 114.2 and a 114.4. Slightly slower that time for seat one. Callum starting to respond and put his foot down. So Callum responding here as now they're starting to catch up to traffic. You can see there Red Bull ahead of us. There he is, he pulls off to the side to let us through. Red Bull stops and then he lets both go through. Callum and seeks a good awareness there for Red Bull, despite his disqualification. As Rodders is in as well. Rodders thinks, right, okay, quick tyre change as well to respond to these Mazdas. That could be a, a good idea. But again, he could have been better staying out. So I don't know why he's done that, but uh, still we'll see. As Bids then takes fourth place in the Mazda. And it's, it's uh, Neil Farmack who just come out of the pits ahead of Rodders. Rodders has pitted because he thought it's right. He thinks, right, OK, the, I'll get eaten alive with my tyres. So let's try and put fresh tyres on and see if I can catch him up on pure pace. Keeves behind them, but again, a bit more worn tyres on Keeves' car. Back to the battle for second. See them doing all they can to try and catch up, but the fuel is not looking good on these two cars. And staying with TY, Bids to Neil, Rodders, and Keith. Looking at the fuel gauges, yet they're a lot better off on fuel. So these two are going to have to battle and try and save fuel at the same time. Into Paddock Hill Bend. Oh, Callum runs a bit wide there. That's not going to help him. Runs wide through Paddock Hill Bend. Seat one closes up. Oh, the Porsche a lot better around the. Uh, the faster corners than the Jaguar. Down the hill into Graham Hill Bend. Out of it, and Calm using a lot more curb there than seat one. Bids to in fourth place, across the line, lap time for Bids. 1.15.2, 1.17.5 for Neil. He's just come out of the pitch now, so we'll have to see how that changes as we go in the, along in the race. Meanwhile, seat one now is as close to Callum as he's ever been. Seat one's right on the back of Callum here. But look at the fuel gauges as well. Not good on the fuel. Callum, uh, the, the, the tyre wear is probably more in the favour of seat one on better for tyres. Out of Sheen, Callum hits the dirt. Pressure is now on for Callum to try and keep seat one back. Last couple of laps of the race approaching now. TY's on his on his penultimate lap already. And Callum and Seek are now up red on. Well, Callum's now red on fuel. He's gonna have to try and save fuel. Seat one goes through. Callum goes wide, seat one goes through. He, run, he ran wide there. But now Callum's got to try and steer back. Well, now, now he's behind him in the draft. He might be able to save that little bit more fuel just to help him towards the end as he pushes hard now. On the outside, seat one on the inside. Defending his line, Callum all the way around the outside, trying to keep the inside for the Greyville bend. That's technically off the track, Callum, but uh, maintains his second place. But that was a bit cheeky, he went all four wheels over the kerb there and kept his place. But again, the game didn't award a penalty, so I suppose it's legal if the game doesn't award a penalty, because we have the game do the penalties to stop people getting annoyed at, uh, at the stewards, which is myself. Uh, as Bidster and Neil close to each other now. 1.13.6 for Neil Farmack. He's got much more pace than his teammate Bidster. So will, could this be a change or a battle for position for the two Mazdas then? Further out we've got Keith and Will together. Will's have to, have to pit. Uh, so Will then is in eighth place, challenging Keith down the inside he goes. Keith holding it round the outside. Oh my word. Keith holds it round the outside like a boss. Do not pass me. You, as he, yeah, he, if you're going to pass me, mate, you have to really, really work hard for it as Keith then keeps holding his, his seventh place for now. So battles everywhere on this 
in this race as we approach the last lap. Come and seek then a battle to the death now. Well, not quite that dramatic, but still a battle for position. As we get a bit carried away there, guys. Sorry about that. But uh, up the inside goes seat one. No, but Callum closes the door. Or, well, close it, closes it gently and make sure he doesn't trap his fingers in the door. But, uh, yeah, gently around there as we go down through Graymill Bend. Towards McLaren. Whereas T.Y. is at Westfield, so he's about to judge this perfectly on fuel as well. Callum runs wide. Seat one could possibly get through here. No, nope, can't do it. There's Bidster, Neil and Rodders uh, together from 13-7 for Rodders. Keith and Will side by side across the line. Keith holding on to position. Will looking for the inside. But T.Y. is going to take a dominant victory here at Branzac. Two in a row for T.Y. Puts him back in the championship fight. T.Y. wins race two. Fantastic win for T.Y. Dominant performance. And we've got Callum and seat one now on the last lap. When we, will get all the re when we get the replays in, we'll get to look at all these battles in detail. But Callum then ahead of seat one, into the last corner, running, running on absolute fumes in that car. Defends the inside, runs a bit wide, seat one then gets on the inside, seat one's on the inside, he's going to pass him. He's got him on the last corner. Seat one takes second place with a brilliant move on the last corner. Seat one in second, Callum third. What a finish. Seat one robs Callum of second place on the line. And now the two Mazdas come up to the line. They're still battling out together. But will he stay in formation? Or will Neil try and do what Seat One's just done to Callum? Into the last corner they go. And it looks like it's going to be Bidster in fourth, Neil in fifth. To the line, it's Bidster in fourth, Neil fifth right behind him. With, with Rodders in sixth place. What a race. You'd think that were a sprint race the whole distance. Will's past Keith on the last lap as well. Will is now into seventh. Keith is going to be eighth. Oh my word, that was more drama than I could handle on that last lap. Will seventh, Keith eighth. It's going to be Red Bull's finish, but, he's, but obviously he did go to the soft tyres in the end, but he will be disqualified from the results anyway for using the medium tyres. And video rounds off the nine in no, I was in ninth place. So what a race that was. And while I can catch my breath, we'll just get those last half of the replays in for you now. Here's the replays from the second half. And here's something else we missed on lap 18, start lap 18. It is Keith running wide. And Neil then gets advantage around the outside and goes clean around the outside of the Nissan uh, into sixth place. And here's a replay of something that happens in video on lap 24. So he goes around Druid's very aggressive line around there and then again he gets on the curb, puts on the power and a, a carbon copy of what he did earlier in the race. And Rodders goes through and takes seventh. Here's a replay of something that happened to Will on lap 25. So he goes wide through Sheen on, onto the grass, comes back across, Bits and then goes down the inside, but Will's on the grass again. He loses control of the car on the, on the grass and almost hits Bits as he rejoins. So uh, close, to the, to, close to a big crash there, but luckily Will recovers the car okay. Okay, here's a replay of something that happened to Will on lap 27. Just starting lap 27 now to Paddy Kilbend into the corner and he goes through the corner all right but he goes too wide on the exit hits the gravel and spins the car right around 360 degrees and recovers the car and then he gets going moves to the outside to try and get out of the way of Keith but that closes them both right up and Will loses all his gap he's worked hard for in the race then he makes a big tank slapper out of Druids he's just trying to push the car too hard Here's a replay of what happened to Keith on lap 29 then this is how Will closed right up because Keith went way too hot into Sheen right up through the gravel then you see Will in the background rubbing his hands together thinking right okay sunshine game on okay here's a replay of the dramatic finish then on board with seat one on his on his bumper cam so here we go Callum then wanted to try and keep that second place he goes to defend the inside into clearways but then seat one goes and does the cut back on him classic move by seat one Callum can't get across in time and seat one then powers ahead in the Jaguar for second place now here's the final replay, looking at Will and Keith and their battle going on to the last lap side by side into Paddock Hill, Ben Keith's on the inside and then he so he get, runs a bit wide, Will just gets it up and run and to get on the inside and towards Druids and breaking into Druids, Keith runs a bit wide anyway and Will goes straight through into 7th place and drifts his way out the corner, almost losing it and then he gets in front of Keith and the last lap battle was then on. And as you come back from that, we will now take you to the results followed by the overall point standings. 
Okay guys, here's the results of that race then. So TY takes victory by 24 seconds, dominant race by TY, with seat one stealing second place from Callum on the last corner. Absolutely brilliant move there by seat. So second place for him, third for Callum, then it's fourth for Bidster, with bringing home his teammate Neil in fifth, then it's Rodders in sixth ahead of Will in seventh. Then we've got Keith in eighth, again another close finish between Rodders, uh, between Will and Keith there, sorry. Then it's ninth for Video and 10th for Red Bull, but he does get DQ'd, so no points for him. And TY takes the fastest lap of the race with a 1.13.1. And now we move on to the overall positions and point standings after round six. It's 141 for Callum in first, and bids on 141 point behind him. That's going to be close going into our final round at Nürburgring next time. TY on 134, still within a shout. Neil Farmack on 129, he can still do it, but he's have to have a lot of things go his way. Seat 1 on 123 in the Jaguar, then it's Rodders on 117 in the Porsche. We've got Keith on 81, one point ahead of Video on 80. Then it's Red Bull 51, Cyrex 37, 12 for Will, 1 point for Daniel Irwin. Then on, uh, the Mazda are in the lead in the teams. 269 from 258 for Porsche, They're quite close there. 215 for Nissan, then it's Jaguar on 203, again quite close there as well. With Sauber just trailing behind on 63, so some good battles to go into that last round at Nürburgring. And we come back from that, and your winner there is TY. We're we'll just have a, trying to get a, a bit where we can look at the car. There we are. There's TY, the winner in the number one uh, Nissan there. Well done to TY. And that improves his championship position as well. And uh, we will see you guys uh, next time. So hope you all enjoyed that. We will see you guys next time for round seven, the final round of the, of the championship at Nürburgring Grand Prix circuit. So that should be very entertaining stuff. Hope you've all enjoyed, guys, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Thank you for watching another race by LPB Racing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. And next time, it'll be Group C from Nürburgring GP, the last round, and it'll be Race 1.